Well, hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters Book 3. Thank you so much for joining me. Our current goal is to find a way into the building at the hub of the pipe network. And we've determined that this is the building here. The pipe carrying the metal orb leads into that building. I knew it was important. It's an important building. However, we've got a couple of guards here who are, well, guarding the building. And uh, we can't get past them. But um, at the end of the last episode, we heard a, heard one of them tell the other one about... Um, official Azadi business going on here. You'll want to turn around and walk away. About a rat that had gotten into the pipes and caused all kinds of trouble. And um, they had to clean it up. So I know where we're at, where some rats are. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to go back here and I think we're going to have the opportunity to put some of this even song into this food on the table. Then the rats should eat it and fall asleep and then we could pick up a rat. Oh. Good lord, kid. You scared the crap out of me. Why are you doing standing there like that all spooky and everything? What's up? So we meet again, Azadi. Prepare your blade for battle. Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What are you doing now? Chasing rats? Uh, basically, yes. I'm too busy to be talking to the boy. And he really shouldn't be out. The streets aren't safe for magicals. The boy appears genuinely interested. I've been told this is rare in children. Perhaps I shouldn't discourage him. Oh, let's not discourage him. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you that hungry? <laughs> rats taste like sewage. Trust me. You're better off eating table scraps. Uh, I'm not eating the rat. I need it for... It's work-related. It is. <laughs> okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. Hey, uh, maybe you could help me out a little bit, Bip. He never listens. He's risking his life being out in the open like this. But what can I do? I was the same at his age. Bip's been a great help. I'm not entirely comfortable with him working for the Resistance, but he'll get in trouble regardless. He might as well get in trouble helping us. Yeah. I hope I can reunite Bip with his parents someday. I hope his parents are still alive. You're taking way too long. I'm getting bored. Okay, he's getting bored. Here's some yams. Ah, yams. A few weeks ago, I'd never tasted yams. Now I can't get enough. <laughs> I'm a budding yam aficionado. Yes, you are, aren't you? Diced and steamed yams. There are so many ways to prepare yams. They truly are the king of foods. <laughs> ah, okay. Yams. A few weeks ago, I'd never tasted. Oh, okay. So I just picked up some yams. Good enough. I'm a budding yam aficionado. So let's see if we can't take this even song and compare it with the yams. Oh, we can't. Yam. Hmm. Hmm. So we can't combine the even song. Oh, here's a cheese and meats plate. It's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I've dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. I think that um, Keon likes to eat. There's some cheese left, but that's all. Well, let's grab the cheese. Cheesy bits. <laughs> Cheesy bits. So this yam. These delicious things must hail from the western slopes of the first mountain. Who knew a thing that grows in the earth could taste so heavenly? <laughs> I mean, yams are pretty good, but I'm not that crazy about them. Cheesy bits. Looks pretty good. I recognize this cheese. It's made from pungent Elgwin milk, fermented in wooden vats in the salt caves by the sea. Good to know. Can we take the even song and put it in that? Yes. Yes, we can. All right, rats, are you ready for some cheesy bits? What do I do? Do I put it back here? No. Hmm. 
What do we do with it? We have to like walk over to the rats. Here we go. Ground crawlers. Filthy rodents. I hate rats. He hate ra he hates rats. Oh, are we trying to catch one? <laughs> ah, too quick. You're not very good at catching rats, are you? No. Actually, I'm very good at it. Watch this, Bip. Watch this. Cheesy bits. Here's some particularly potent cheese. Filthy shadow spawn. <laughs> Eat it. Eat it all. <laughs> they won't come close as long as I'm Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Let's back away. Back away from the rats, please. Okay. Are we far enough away yet? Is it breathing? I don't know. Oh, there we go. And I don't care. It's a rat, and it's not moving. Yeah, sleeping rat. Come on, rat. A comatose ground crawler. Just what I need. Perfect. Oh, ooh, gross. Look at that. You Look at that thing. I really didn't think you would. I'm impressed. Thanks, man. Well, that was fun. What's next? Next, you go home and stop distracting me. Or I'll tell the other street urchins you have fleas. I have no home. You know that. I sleep in the cellar of the rooster and kitten. Good. It's the safest place around. So go back to your cellar and keep your head down. If I see you again tonight... Please, got it. I'm sleepy anyways. That's why I'm going back. Not because you're telling me to. And don't throw pebbles at Azadi soldiers. Oh, okay. See you later. Bye. All right. So now we have a rat, and we can do with it as we please. Let's take a look at it. Look at this thing. Look at it. Are you looking at it? Look at this thing. Look. It's a ground crawler. A snake tail, a brown fur, a street pigeon. A rat. Beloved child has many names. Soundly trounced. All right. We've got our rat. I think I know what to do with it. I think you know what to do with it, too. Come along with me, and we'll do it together. Right over here is a convenient spot in the pipes to just place that rat. Right in here. Yes. So we're going to grab our rat and drop it in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, this is neat. Here we go. Oh, hell's gonna break loose now. <laughs> Gross. What was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like. You've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut a damn ground crawlers. I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. That bloody engineer in there is not gonna do it. So, yeah, it's on us. Light. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. You know what? He mentioned that engineer. We should probably go back and return his tool before he wakes up. Right? Let's go do that real quick. Hopefully it's not too late for that. Hopefully those guys won't finish cleaning up before we come back. So let's... Man, what's with the music all of a sudden? Let's see. I mean, I don't think we need the access tool anymore. I don't think we do. We'll find out soon enough when we go in here. See what Ulvik has to say. Is he still sleeping? He's still sleeping. You should get on with it. Oh. The Evensong's potent, but he will wake up before the night's over. What do I need to get on with? Do I need to put the tool back? Am I done with it, or will I need it again? Let's see. Did I put it back? I put it back. Okay. Okay. There, I put it back. Gosh, I sure hope I don't need it still. <laughs> well, if I do, I'll come back and get it again, right? He's out like an Eradian soldier on Rose Eve. You can grab his toolbox now, but be subtle about it. 
The room has eyes. Eh, I don't need it anymore. At least I hope I don't. <laughs> hope that wasn't a mistake. I mean, there's a good chance, I guess there's a good chance we get into this place we might need the tool again. I don't know. I may have just made things much more difficult on me than I needed to, but we'll find out soon enough. So yeah, the music is all kind of scary and tense. Not sure what to make of that. We should be able to sneak past these guys pretty easily. There they are, cleaning the mess up. I like how it takes two of them to do it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this door. Enter. Let us enter. This is exciting. We get to go into a new cool place. Whoa, what the... What the hell? Who is that? Wow, this is way cooler than I thought it was going to be. Oh, this is neat. What is that thing? What the hell is that? Goals updated. Investigate the building to learn more about the pipes. More metal tubes leading down to these odd tables. The sooner we find out what all the pipes are for, the closer we are to understanding what the tower is up to. More metal tubes leading down to these odd tables. Someone's down there. I see that. Someone's down there. Yeah. Let's see, maybe we could walk along this catwalk over here and investigate a few more things. More of the metal machines that have been put up all over town. But these look different. Bigger, shinier, more modern. It all looks very impressive. It must have taken a great many resources Ooh. and a great deal of work to assemble these. A large orb. It's a massive chamber of some sort. It sounds hollow. It's rumbling and there's steam coming out of it. It's a huge metal orb, like the tummy of a giant mechanical man. I think I've had this dream once. Hmm. Yes, I noticed that you could interact with the thing. The numbers are flickering. It looks like sorcery. Well, I'm sure this is science. What could it be? There's mathematics involved, certainly. But I've never seen numbers changing so rapidly without someone doing calculations. What else can we look at? Anything else? Alright. It's a massive chamber of some sort. It sounds hollow. It's rumbling and there's steam coming out of it. Let's see what happens if we touch it. It radiates heat. It must be burning hot to the touch. I'm not putting my hand to that. <laughs> Okay, so that's what's uh, no doubt generating the steam. Ooh, what do we have up here? All oh, more metal pipes. Where the pipes converge, they're all going into that huge orb. I knew this building was important. It must be a hub of sorts to the web of pipes. Yeah. If Liko and Enu were here, I'd afford myself a rare gloat. As it stands, I'll have to settle for a smug feeling of self-satisfaction. I guess you will. What's that thing? More of those odd metal orbs. They're doing something to them here altering them. The orbs appear to be an important part of the machinery. Okay, we gotta be careful, careful here. We don't want to be noticed. More of those odd metal orbs. They're doing something to them here. Altering them. Stations. I don't know what these are, but they put me in mind of a lady's vanity. Except with knobs. Lots and lots of knobs. These are probably work tables. Although I've never seen work tables with gauges and meters and knobs before. So we have the opportunity to touch it, or to manipulate it, manipulate it in some way. We'll do that here after we've looked around. Oh, another one. Hmm. Hmm. 
what's so special about those that we can manipulate? There's another one. Just the worker. He's one of the people who work here. I've noticed others like him entering and exiting. They're odd looking. He has the posture and dress of an academic, but he doesn't look like any scholar. Looks outside. like a woman. Well, let's see what happens if we touch these stations. I wonder what will happen when we push one of these knobs. Oh, that's ominous. I wonder what will happen when I push one of these knobs. Oh, that's ominous. Okay, if you say so. I wonder what will happen when okay, I push so the same thing. Knobs. Oh, that's ominous. Huh. Yeah, we might as well touch all of them. I wonder what'll happen when I push one of these knobs. Oh, that's ominous. Well, um, hmm. Are we supposed to actually talk with this person? I won't venture to guess what they do, but modern science is certainly involved. Well, let's uh, see if we can't sneak up or behind or around this person. <laughs> 